Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. What would Dr. S say, or better yet, what would Dr. Sevi say? But you know, it's called what would Dr. S say, and that's what we're sticking to, right? Um, today, we're actually, oh, before I talk about that, um, remember my Irish moss, the real deal Irish moss, okay? So anytime you guys see this in um, any of the West Indian stores or any other stores in Brampton, Mississauga, Toronto, Scarborough, um, you guys can uh, support me, please, okay? Because this is the real deal. This is real stuff. No salt, no nothing. This is um, Irish moss that is wild crafted Irish moss, okay? So um, it might be a little bit more expensive than the other ones that are in the brine, but please make note and remember Dr. Sebi that it's the right stuff. We got ones from Honduras and we have some that are from Jamaica too. So please, I, I uh, really appreciate your support. All right, so with that, we're moving on and um, we're gonna talk today about preparation, preparing your foods before you actually need to eat them or need to do them, need to, um, get them ready so uh we're gonna prepare today and store um all our vegetables and we're gonna wash them we're gonna dry them and we're going to um put them in the fridge to make sure that uh for the rest of the week we at least don't have to wash them when it comes to things like um we're not doing chickpeas today or anything like that, but when it comes to vegan foods, a lot of things require prior preparation. And if you can prepare your foods ahead of time, everything can be so much easier for you. There is a famous saying that says that if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I've always loved that. I don't know who said it, but somebody said it and it was a beautiful saying. I think I heard it from a guy they call Wayne Dyer who's no longer around anymore, but he lived a long, prosperous life. If you guys have the time, you gotta look him up, Wayne Dyer, even though you know we're all about black power and all that stuff. But Wayne Dyer was is somebody that um, a lot of us should definitely research and know about his life and what he was all about. But anyway, um, Dr. Sebi, <laughs> how would Dr. Sebi look at this? And I think that Dr. Sebi would also agree with me that if we can change the way we look at our situation, then the things, our situations will begin to change and most likely change for the better. For example, um, right now, with this um, COVID-19 or coronavirus thing, lots of people might be saying that they're stuck in their homes and, you know, there's so many things that they usually would do that they can't do anymore and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, if you look at it in the sense that you're getting more time to spend with your family, you know, we're being forced really to cook our foods at home which um, might not be good for a lot of the restaurants, but it's good for your body. And we need to know what we're putting into our bodies because uh, a lot of people are saying that this whole thing is all about immune systems and strengthening our immune systems, like what sea moss and Irish or Irish moss does. It strengthens your immune system, and these vegetables also strengthen your immune system. And when your immune system is of a certain level, there's really certain things that can't touch you on a serious level. But anyway, um, with that, we're gonna um, move on and show you uh, how to store these vegetables. So what you're gonna need, we have today that we bought in the supermarket, we have kale, we have romaine lettuce, um, we have about three different types or two different types of kale. Um, I have collard greens too. I'm not sure if collard greens are a part of Dr. Sebi's um, uh, nutritional guide but um, we have it anyway and because uh, you know sometimes we can be almost alkaline right it's not perfect but it's still better than a bag of Doritos right which is what I usually say <laughs> um, yeah anyway so we've got all of the we got all the vegetables we're gonna show you all of those you're also gonna need like a 
tablecloth, or not a tablecloth, but a plate rag. Um, I don't know, it's a pretty big size, even bigger than the size of this um, camera angle, but it's a pretty big one. You're gonna need about two of these, right? Um, maybe I should go back a little bit so that you can see how big it is. You're gonna need about two of these, right? So that you can spread your vegetables out and dry them a little bit and um, and then we can put them in the fridge and you're gonna need some paper towel. So I've got two of those tablecloths. I've got um, a roll of paper towel, a roll of paper towel, and we're gonna need some bags. And I've got, oops, these ones, these Ziploc bags. And I use them over and over again, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, just keep them and we wash them. You can wash them after and dry the, out the insides and make sure that, uh, you know, there's not too much moisture in them. And then we also will need some sea salt because it's vegetables and they're organic vegetables. So we want to pour it in the water as we're washing some of these vegetables because you don't know if there might be some little bugs or something in there and the sea salt will help with that you know, to eliminate the bugs. So what did I say we need? We've got the plate cloths, we got the paper towels, we have the plastic bags, and we have the sea salt. So let's get started, see you in a bit. All right, here we go. So I'm not gonna do everything on camera because it might take way too much time. I'm putting some salt, some sea salt in the water. Okay, just in case there's a little bit of bugs or, you know, dirt and stuff like that in there, right? And then we're going to wash the kale, wash the kale. This one's called Tuscan kale, T-U-S-C-A-N, Tuscan kale, green leafy vegetables, according to Dr. Sebi. This is a nutritional diet, right? And we're gonna fill the sink up with some with the water. And as we're washing them, we want to make we want to look through them and make sure that everything's um, okay, like there's not any bugs or dirt or anything, because we want to prepare it so that next um, when we're ready for it, we don't have to do too much washing, right? So I'm gonna wash these. I'm gonna put them to drain most of the water out. Put them to drain most of the water out. So washing in here, washing again in here, then put it in the dish drainer, and then put it on the plate cloth so that um, I can drain most of the water out. And then I'm gonna put them in bags. So um, uh, we'll be right back after we're putting them in the bags so I can show you how I do it. All right, see you in a bit. Here we are, we have some in the dish drainer, some curly kale right now. In the dish drainer, we're shaking off some of the water and leaving that to drain. And then we're gonna put um, the other stuff in the bag. Drying off as much of the water as possible, right? With a clean plate cloth, right? You wanna make sure they're clean, okay? Because it defeats the whole purpose if you're gonna clean them, wash them off, you know, debug them <laughs> if there's any. <laughs> and then you're gonna use a plate cloth that's not clean, right? So you wanna make sure it's clean. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so I'm just making sure that all the um, the moisture out of the bag, as much moisture as possible we get out of the bag. All right, and then we're going to layer it with some paper towel. So, first layer, paper towel, our Tuscan kale. I hope that's how you pronounce it. If you guys, if I'm wrong, then somebody can correct me in the comments section. <laughs> All right, so we're packing them in like this, in layers. And this will help to absorb the rest of the moisture and also it, it can last in the fridge for like 10 to 15 days. Or um, you can also cut them up as if you're gonna use them, you know, slice them up, 
how you'd slice up um, any of your vegetables. Slice them, da, 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 da. slice them up and put them in the freezer. And you can use them weeks, months later. And especially in the time that we're in right now, you know how it is. Who knows what's going to be happening three weeks from now, right? Or a month from now. So sometimes it's better to be prepared, right? Have a few things put away in the freezer for a just in case. Just in case you can't go to the supermarket for whatever reason. But, you know, we're not going to go there. We're thinking positive and we're saying no. That's not what's going to happen. We're going to, things are going to hopefully get back to normal as soon as possible. Right? But in the meantime... Yeah, we're going to pack them up in the bags, like this. Put another layer of paper towel on top. Here. And I think Dr. Seba would say that preparation is the key, you know? If we can prepare ahead of time, lots of these meals are so easy. At least this this um, gets rid of the idea that you have to wash them and do all of that stuff. All you gotta do is take them out, slice them up, add some onions, some onion powder, and you got yourself a meal. All right, number one, here we go. All right, we'll be right back, Curly Kale. All right, guys, so the whole thing took about an hour and 20 minutes to do all of the vegetables. Um, I didn't want to show you everything on camera, but I figure that you get the message with these guys, right? About an hour and 20 minutes, but you'll be grateful later and you'll be happy for it later. You prepare ahead of time and you put all your things um, in the fridge or in the freezer. If you're gonna put them in the freezer, no paper towel. You just slice them up, put them in your freezer bags and lay them flat and put them in the freezer for when you're ready to use them. You can use them for your smoothies, you can use them for your stir fries and you're ready to go. All right, so um, remember again, one more time. The Real Deal Irish Moss. Please, if you see it anywhere, please support. And also, comment, like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And thanks again, you guys. And have a blessed day. Peace.